respond, you're going to get beat. This is a nice throw by Jake Garcia. Put it right there. Morris to make good decisions. Play action. Morris has three men going deep. He's chased. He loses a man. Has a man short. Wants to go deep. Wide open. Safety, 7-2. Later in the second, Kaya finds Stacy Coley over the middle. No one can catch him. Coming in his face and gets it out on time. Always able to keep his balance, and then it's just a foot race to the end zone. What a playable throw. Looking for Knighton out of the backfield. He's got it, and he's gone. All right, Kane's family, welcome back to another review. Yes, we is off the dub this week, so it's, it's been you know an L in the column for three weeks in a row. It's nice to get back on it. So we're going to start off with a good play. Probably didn't start off as good as it ended because I think it was a coverage bus here. We're going to be bringing Couch here out of the nickel blitz. We have Cam who's going to be walking over top. Looks like he's getting deep here. You have Ivy who's looking like he's dropping deep. And then, uh, you know, Avante either going underneath Ivy's for the flats uh, with two of them back there. So this is definitely just a coverage bus here. We get a nothing crazy from Virginia Tech. They got trips. Here is five wide set. Uh, you know, hitch here, slant here, hitch here. So when Avante looks like he's trying to get underneath the flats for Ivy as he's going through, and you have two safeties, uh, you know, corner and a safety back there, just doesn't look like uh, it went as intended. You have that slot blitz, so you're always going to give up something when you're blitzing. Uh, but you weren't trying to go up this whole slant here. Uh, it looks like it's just a little bit of a bust. But however, that doesn't mean that's what the whole play is. Cam goes and engages. Force fumble here by Avante Williams. And uh, Ivy, I'm going to give them both credit for it because it looks like Ivy's helmet was right there as as Avante was swinging at that thing. Uh, but again, Avante coming back in is able to punch that ball out and recover. So it started off big fast. This is the type of plays you're supposed to start games off with. Huge plays by offense, um, by the defense getting it back to the offense. We go fast here. We get the quad look to the field side. So that's four receivers over. You got Bouchard here in the slot. Mallory, Colby Young, Latson. You got Mallory. He's going up to the safety. Uh, doesn't get his best block, but is able to do enough. You got two blocks here from the outside. Get Bouchard moving early on. That's Colby Young. Uh, Mallory might get away with the little pull on his hold, as he you know he didn't get <laughs> the he didn't get his best block, uh, but he's got enough. Got away with this call. Two receivers outside do their job. That creates this alley right in between number uh, two receiver number three. Get this alley going for Bashard Smith. Get north and south. One more cut in. Saw some of that explosion finally from Bashard. Uh, took a little quick pass. Get him going. But again, this guy gets moving in a hurry explosive in open space credit to coach Gaddis right after that big play we're going tempo get those trips to the near side so you get three bodies over there you got a six in the basically in the box you should be able to run on this this is a little zone read pool but you get your center you know he's getting blown up right here so that just slows down the timing. Your running back rooster can't hit the hole. Yes, this is a light box. This is six. You want to run on this all day. Count them up. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is seven on six is exactly what you want. However, you know, this initial penetration, because we're leaving this backside DN unblocked. Uh, so rooster can't hit this hole because it's occupied by his own lineman. So he's not able to get that speed going, and that slows down the timing. So the backside DN gets there. Obviously, we weren't really able to run the football uh, all too well. And uh, that's going to need to change for this offense to be fully balanced out. We have found that guy, Kane's family, and he is rocking 88. Sir Himothy, the <laughs> Sir Himothy, the first of his name, the true protector of the realm. <laughs> I mean, Kobe Young is out here. Two by two set. Uh, to the field side down here, Virginia Tech's actually going to be playing zone. This is one of the things like you do. Uh, you can never really be too sure of uh, defenses' coverages due to you know them being super exotic at times and them doing something on one side. And this is an example of this. So you have zone to this side to the field, and then it's man on the near side because Will Mallory just had a huge game last week, so they're showing some respect. This is Virginia Tech showing respect. This is them trying to take Mallory away. You have one defender. 
on the second level, and then he's being over top bracketed by the safety. So TVD I correctly identifies he has one true one on one matchup, which is Colby Young right here. He's got a double stick release here. You get outside. Cornerback turns around, can't fight, uh, can't track the ball as properly as Kobe Young. Keeps running for it. Beautiful. Yes, his hand was being grabbed. That's why he used one. Snatched that thing and then corralled it. This is perfect because it wasn't a clean one-hand snag. He was able to put his hand out there and kind of like tip it to himself within his body frame and then snatch it all uh, with both hands. But this is TVD correctly identifying the one-on-one -on -one matchup from the coverage, putting that ball outside. Incredible effort here. Incredible effort. You'll see it here on the other side, but tapped it to himself. Was able to squeeze it right hand. His whole hand was being held the whole time. He finally releases it to help him secure it. But we were looking for that guy to win those one-on-one -on -one matchups down the field, just in general. And then, and boom, here comes Kobe Young out of nowhere, getting it done. And then we just, we'll just jump straight into it. I was going to use it, stop it, go to the next play. But, hey, we'll just do the next play straight up. This is 12-set personnel. You got your tight ends here, Jaleel Skinner, uh, Kobe Young, Latson. This is a max protect route. You're just running three. You're going to run this drag here, which is going to get – watch this drag here. Watch what this does. Passes him off. So this guy is looking at him. He's checking with him. Like he's pointing at here, making sure he's taken care of. When he should be pointing this way because Latson's coming around. Kobe Young supposed and Latson are supposed to be doing crossers here in the end zone. But Kobe Young gets tripped up here with this defender. So we're running Max Protect, which is three person route. It really turns into a two person route. Um, but since these these second level defenders get caught up here with Jaleel Skinner, this safety isn't really paying attention. He lets this guy pass. I know this is man coverage, but you have to help your guy out. Don't even try to pass him. He doesn't even feel him. All the way across, all the way across, all the way across. So this worked with this happening. This is insane how this guy caused these two guys to be slow. He's trying to back up. This isn't enough time. TVD's already throwing it to the place it needs to be. Right across, easy touchdown. This was just, you know, not the best awareness from Virginia Tech, in my opinion, on this. You have eight, everybody, look at his eyes. He's checking with his dog to make sure this guy doesn't go foot. Right across the clear, pointing at him, pointing at him. Nobody's aware of Latson coming across, not even number eight, who's dropping back behind him because his receiver just fell down. He has no idea what's coming from the opposite side. All right, Kane's family, so we're going to blow up this QB draw here. Everybody and their mama knows QB draws have worked on Miami for the last infinity. Uh, they worked last week as well from North Carolina. So here's Virginia Tech, but uh, got to highlight the two transfers here, uh, Mesador and uh, Daryl Jackson. I think Mesador is probably the best player on the team, if not defensively, because uh, you got Tyler Van Dyke to argue with and things like that, even Cam. But uh, I, I think I would say Mesador is our best player on defense. You have Daryl Jackson here, who's probably top five at least for sure. Uh, he's making a huge addition here, literally huge addition. You're going to get this QB draw. Mesador is outside wide. He sees it coming back in able to latch off, I mean disengage so he can make this tackle, but look at Daryl Jackson here on this center. They combine here on this tackle for loss, because I don't think it's a sack because it was a design QB run. Blows this guy up, able to disengage. Both linemen are disengaging off their blocks. This is something we haven't really, you know, been accustomed to seeing out of defensive lines in Miami lately, uh, but it's great to see Coach Joe is, you know, <laughs> showing that he's worth every penny because the D-line is playing, uh, you know, at an excellent rate. They're disengaging. They're making, uh, you know, they're pass rushing. They're, the sacks haven't been there all year, but they're starting to pick up, especially this last game. Uh, it's just been great technique by the D-line all year. Shout out to Coach Wright uh, and then Coach Jason Taylor as well. The, the D-line has been as advertised. All right, Kane's Finley. So we're going to motion from a two-by-two -two set over here at Trips to the right. Get Mallory going, let's TVD know it's motion. Uh, we're getting this big crosser, this deep crosser over here to Prashara. That's what we're all about right now. Uh, v VT is going to bring five. They bring this guy here, but this edge rusher is actually going to back up into zone. Uh, the right side of the O-line does good enough. Running back here comes over in pass protection. We lose this one-on-one -on -one right here with John Campbell. He kind of reaches. DN is able to de disengage or de-tackle. So TVD has to flare out the pocket. 
doesn't have much time to set his feet. This is just a great throw and then a great catch by here by Brashard Smith. You put him on it, get up in the air, make a catch for your quarterback. You know you're getting hit. Uh, Brashard Smith came as an explosive player, uh, but he's been showing his you know steadiness in the as a possession receiver, being able to make a big targets and big catches uh, for his quarterback. This is going up there and getting it. This isn't the you know as we've seen. You know, bursting over people, you know, bursting by people to uh, go over the top or, you know, catching those short passes to go all the way. This is the next evolution of his game that he's been taking uh, since Restrepo has been out. Super happy for Bouchard. So since we've introduced the RPO slant into this offense, it's been money and money and money. Or again, 11 personnel, you have two receivers out, the spacing. You have Lats in here at the top of the numbers. This is going to be it. It's the RPO pull it look at all three of these running uh, linebackers they step up literally the running back falls down he doesn't even have to do anything literally they all just step up even though the running backs on the ground this is it this slant right here you have to catch this right here latin gots to family you've been i ain't gonna lie you've been steady handed i think this might be the one of the first ones i've seen latin drop uh but you got to because this is cover one you have one safety coming across you're past this guy. You get two hands on this. You're running. You, this is a foot race with this safety, or you can easily just cut back inside. No matter what, you know, you have some yak here to be had. So uh, super happy with Latson. He looked explosive on this speed release. So super happy that he's been playing well. I'm going to call his name. He makes clutch catch after, you know, cl catches after this one. Uh, but you got to get this one, family, because you had space to run. And if not, you know, you just got the first down regardless. So we got to execute, execute, execute. This is Coach Gaddis in his bag. We need this for third down pickup. This is a great design. Uh, this is a simple, not simple, but, you know, a concept that's not foreign, you know, to most OCs. This is like a Z mesh with the, you know, concept with the hunt route insert, but you're running out of trips bunched uh, to the field side stacked. So this is... Uh, Romello's going to be running, pushing up the seam for a dig. He's going to get some depth and then dig. He's just really trying to get the safety to keep backing up. And while you have Colby Young coming on this crosser, he's coming on this drag right here, and you have Frank Latson from the backside. So what that does is that freezes these two linebackers. And then Will Mallory just sneaks in right behind Romello and sits in this gap because guess what these two linebackers do? Oh, hey, check, check, check. He's coming. Four is like, yo, yo, he's coming. So guess what? He's getting ready for eight. He's getting ready for 88, and they just split wide open like the Red Sea. So right there to Will Mallory, this is just a great design here from uh, Coach Gaddis. You'll watch it here in real time. Eight coming across. He's going to get number four to check him off. Linebacker or safety number one checks 88 off. Nobody picks up Mallory because Romello came right in here, cleared it, and then went ahead and did this dig route. So look who's... These guys had to gain depth because Romello was pushing wide open. That's how you orchestrate first downs. One of our better runs of the day didn't run the ball well. Mostly this is like an unbalanced set here. You'll see basically Skinner's left tackle. You got your Jonathan Dennis snapping the ball. Jalen Rivers, Skinner here. So you got an extra right guard on per se this way. So unbalanced, we're going that direction. You pull, Je you pull Dennis, you pull Sagapalu. Uh, this is just great. Will Mallory stepping up here. This is Will Mallory to block this edge. Takes care of that. This is your right guard and uh, your extra right guard and your right tackle. Scaife sealing this D, -li D lineman. Kick out block here from Palu. Gets this edge linebacker coming across. You got Rooster coming through. Now with the center not being held up, he's able to get to this edge. Now he's sealing the edge with that second linebacker that try to wrap around. Great hole there in the running game. Welcome to the Jakari Brown package. Uh, we were about to get this earlier in the year, but it was a penalty, so it negated it. So we got, we know, there's no running back in, so we have we're five wide, basically. But instead, you have a tight end in line. You have three here to the field side. You're going to motion Mamorelli in. He's just going to be getting this unblocked edge defender. So he's kicking out here, and then it's just straight up, you know, QB power up here, one yard uh, to go. 
Jakari makes Jakari makes contact and they able to just push through and drive through for that first down. It was just great to see the wrinkle, especially since we haven't been able to run the ball well. Close yardage situations. Now you're bringing in, you know, a young quarterback who's you know able to do these type of things. You have there's a uh, Mamrelli going. That's Mallory on that closed block that we set. That I told you about with Scaife. And then this is just mono e mono. Put your head down and uh, make a yard. So great to see uh, from Jakari Jakar uh, that. And then great to see here Stevenson, a leader on the team, coming. Everybody's hype for him. Uh, you know, I believe Brown's the type of player that, you know, makes people want to play for him. He just has that type of personality, just knowing him and talking to him. You, you feel that. So it's great to see, you know, teammates getting excited by him, getting some opportunities. Like, Brashar Ball. Like, everybody's going to be talking about Kobe Young, and me included. Uh, but Rashard Ball, if it wasn't for, you know, a bunch of holding penalties, he would have led the day by far for receivers. You were probably looking at, you know, 130, you know, yards or so. Here's a here's another one that did just get called back. We're going, you know, Brashard on these deep crossers. We like that. He has that speed. You're seeing that from the Dolphins, Jalen Wild and Tyreek Hill. You get, the, get your fast guys, these crossers. They're going to have this blitz here, and our center is going to get caught up right through. You got that stunt coming in. You got the edge. Uh, you got the nickel coming. The middle linebacker coming right over here. This stunt gets right through. So TVD has to roll out. Again, TVD rolling. Throwing a crosser to Bouchard. This is just like earlier. Who goes up and makes the play. This is two on one. Giving this guy a chance. Bouchard wants it more than them. Breaks on this football. Makes a catch. This is a big gain. We're negated because of a penalty. Hate to see it. Uh, obviously, this is true penalty. That's a hold. You know, you can't. That is what it is. You got to call that for the fairness of the game. Uh, but it sucks because Bouchard was just balling. And uh, we'll, we'll just go a couple plays after this incomplete. You'll get one right here to, you know, quad look. We'll throw the bubble. They're going to call holding on Horton for this. Uh, I don't I don't think this was a hold, but maybe his hand uh, was more outside. But, again, another catch by Bouchard. Some yardage taken back. So, he would have had a way bigger game statistically uh, if he wasn't, unfortunately, you know, the recipient of the football on a couple penalties. So what happens when, you know, teams are playing two high safeties and, you know, that linebacker has to carry that number three receiver up the seam uh, to to help that defense, which is the weakness part is right here in the middle. When you, What happens when you have a confident quarterback? He starts dealing that, and this is really going to be like a four verticals type of call. They're trying to get the running back, in my opinion, out with all this space. However, he's not able to. So TVD just, he sees his guy, he locks it in. He likes Mallory over a linebacker with their head, you know, facing Mallory. This is an easy PI call or a back shoulder all day in between the two safeties. Mallory's making this play. This is a throw you make as a quarterback who's just steaming with confidence. Let's this ball go right where Will Mather can get it. Yes, that was a P.I. He was there a little early. Um, but don't really like the spacing. Romello is kind of really close. But I think they were trying to get that uh, They were trying to get that uh, uh, running back the ball in this four vertical. But it's a linebacker. Throw that back shoulder up there as he's carrying up to the safeties. And if that looks familiar, that's because last week against North Carolina, we were talking about it. Right here is two high safeties. Linebacker has to carry his guy up the seam as he's going for that post. TVD rip, rip with confidence. Throw a high back shoulder underneath the safeties. Just let your guy make a play on a linebacker. They're not going to make a play on the football. They're 99.9% .9 of the time going to be looking forward, scared because you know they don't know. They're not really put in that position as often as DBs. But great to see back-to-back -back weeks. You know TVD just letting it rip and having confidence in his guys. Two by two set here. They're going to motion Colby Young in a little bit. It's going to let TVD know, hey, it's zone. Uh, not Colby Young, excuse me, Jaleel Skinner in motion. And let him know, hey, it's zone. It's going to be a deep route. So they're trying to get a little switch release here where Colby Young goes inside. You have uh, Skinner going out. You have a lot of deep routes, right? Nobody's here. Everybody's vacated this. So you have uh, TVD step up. Good initial protection. They're bringing one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so it's a lot here. The running back's not able to cleanly get over. He's able to get enough, though, so TVD can step up. Whole size of Texas. TVD steps up. Using his legs a little bit like he was last year. He's not a statue. He played baseball. He played basketball. 
Uh, he played a you know ran track, uh, did um, did things with track. He did a lot of sports. He's not a statue. Uh, it's nice to see him getting up and moving uh, and get this first down with his legs. So this is a great call by Gaddis in the red zone. He's gonna motion that in, let him know, hey, what's the coverage? It's man. Uh, so he he understands he wants this smash concept. This is a Lashley play. We went over it last week. I showed you both times. Lashley ran it with TVD. Well, more than that, but he even ran it with Derek King, NC State. Harley touchdown. <laughs> but whip route here to keep this corner. So you have Latin going in and then out to keep this corner from sinking in. This corner sinks. He's going to get an easy INT. You have this in. You're just keeping these two defenders here because you want to go to this back pile on. That's where it's thrown. Uh, this is a beautiful ball by TVD. It literally is throwing exactly where you want it. Uh, don't think, hey, this is a bad ball by TVD. He didn't have it. This is just the refs uh, missing this one. So this is a uh, recreate the line of scrimmage, close that gap, and then hit your release to the outside. Then this DB just gets hands on Brashard. He's grabbing him this whole time. He's pulling him right here again. Uh, so that's what messes up the timing of this throw. Uh, it should have been a holding. Maybe they don't call pass interference because it's doing that before the ball in. But look, you can tell he's clearly holding them. Uh, so that's what throws off this timing. This is a beautiful NFL throw. Look what hash TVD standing on the opposite hash. This is a dime. That should have been a touchdown. We were robbed, uh, but it is what it is. Love the play call there. Had to finish the field goal with Andy, uh, but VT definitely got away with one right here. Should have at least had holding uh, because look at that before the ball's in the air. So I could get it if you don't want to call pass interference, but call holding because that, that was definitely needed. Refs missed one, though. Hey, it is what it is. Great ball from TVD, though. I, I want him to put it there every time. Just looks like a plain Jane cover three here. Gonna stand up red rushers Harvey. They're gonna throw this little quick hitch to the outside. This is Daryl Porter Jr. making his presence known there. He, obviously, he's not the biggest of corner, so I'd love to see when a little corner comes up and makes that sure tackle like that. It wasn't just a wrap up and hang on. This is wrap up and drive through and sling to the ground. So love to see the aggressiveness there from a, a corner known more for his cover instincts and skills. Looking like a little cover one uh, with the blitz here from James. So you have uh, TC and man here. You got Avante and man. Two corners and man here. I mean, your corner here, and this is your linebacker flag, excuse me, with the running back. Uh, yeah, flags out here. Look at that technique. So uh, quarterback comes at this slant. This is off, man. So much space here. I'm throwing this slant as well uh, on TC. You have this little delay here from this receiver. I don't think the quarterback was expecting that. Look at this like little lackadaisical ass route. You got to catch that, TC. You got Stu Family. You had you a, a little very similar. You're, you're playing that slot corner well, man. You really are. You're getting to that ball. Uh, but you got to come down with some of these INTs. One in that red zone, uh, end zone last week against North Carolina. We ended up stopping them on four downs. So it didn't cause anything. But you're breaking on these footballs. Got to find a way to bring them in, family. TVD already knows where he's going with this football. Starts off too high. You see the safety checking down. This is cover three. Corner uh, safety's coming deep middle. You have deep third, deep third. So this guy has curled a flat. This guy has, you know, he's coming in for his middle drop. TVD understands. Hey, he's been throwing with mad confidence. I like my, I like my safety, you know, being covered. I mean, I like my tight ends, big tight ends being covered, you know, underneath by a linebacker and over the top by safety, especially with that much room. So. He puts it in there on this post. It's a back shoulder throw, so he doesn't want to throw him here so he can get killed and leveled by this safety. So this is a throw to help, you know, protect his player. It's unfortunate that it just happened this way uh, for him to have a fall. But he, he threw a back shoulder so he doesn't run straight. If he runs full speed into this, this is a, a death shot. Uh, so he just happens to be falling in. And uh, hopefully, thank God, Will Mallory's okay. Uh, he didn't come back into the game. There's been no update, but uh, he got up and walked under his own power. I don't think this was a dirty hit at all. TVD had to throw this ball here because if you throw it in front, you're literally getting him killed. He's going to run straight into you. So you had to throw a back shoulder, try to protect him. You're trying to, you know, use that big frame. But Will Mallory had to adjust too much and he uh, started falling. And I don't think this is it. You guys falling, 
his head's up. I don't think he meant to hit him like that, but that's just the rule forcible, you know, contact to the head and neck injury. So not a dirty play at all from VT, but uh, we got that targeting call. I'm just happy that Will Mallory is okay. Great way to make a play for your quarterback. Hopefully, you know, he's in the lineup moving up forward next week. Um, but obviously, you got to take care of somebody's head. So hopefully he's good. And then, you know, whatever protocols they have, I guess, you know, Canes fans is just look out through throughout the week because Will Mallory, I know a lot of fans have been getting on him all year. And hey, even if I had to say so, but uh, he's been popping last two weeks for sure. So we're going trips to the near side here. We're going to leave Skinner one-on-one -on -one with this edge defender. We'll get a quick preview of how that goes. This is, you know, something he's going to work on. Uh, Skinner's, I, I think the sky, is the, the sky is the floor uh, for Skinner. So he's going to have to work on that for sure. TVD had to step up. But then again, you have this going on from the interior where you have this, uh, you know, this left tackle being pushed you know, from the left tackle box all the way across to, you know, the formation, it's just hard to see, especially that's John Campbell. I, I love John Campbell. I'm a big John Campbell guy. Personally, I think, you know, coming off that injury and now, you know, playing these weeks and weeks and weeks and giving us these Herculean snaps, I think it's been taking a toll on his body because it's just not the same John Campbell you saw at Texas A&M, you know, bullying people, bodying people. Uh, I think he's playing banged up because his body's just, he's, you know, he's been in bubble wrap since that injury and just to come on here and just give the amount of snaps he's given. Uh, you know, he's, he's, he's being a warrior, but he, he just gets not his best rep here. And it's going to get TVD as he steps up into this pocket a clean sack here we, we just can't have this especially but uh especially since people know we're only passing the ball right now because you know we're not really having much success running it so being one dimensional sucks because they're going to bring the house they bring five you know they're going to be expecting it uh but you you just have to give you know a better effort than that So they got trips here to the field side they're going to leave harvey unblocked harvey is low-key like he Last couple of weeks, he's been coming on. His effort's been there all all year, but he's starting to get home with some of that effort. In the run game, he, he was fantastic in the run game. Uh, and then he's starting to get some pass rush presence as well. They're going to leave him on block, see what this right tackle does. They're going to leave him on block. You have the tight end split out. This is a big mistake. They're not expecting that get off that burst. They want to get this. Uh, they want to get this right tackle and this right guard over here. They're trying to seal. Elijah uh, Roberts rightfully so attacks this puller. Uh, this guy gets through the hole. It's it's an issue. It's really an issue. It's drawn up like that for a reason. But you have Jafar Jafar I Harvey uh, come through and just make this big time TFL or tackle for no gain. Showed up all time. Uh, showed up all day in the running game and uh, got the rush to passer as well. Really happy for number twelve. It looks like uh, he's starting to bloom. Yeah, that boy. Balling, these these numbers are going crazy. These last two games, my dog showing really who he is. All right, let's get into it. So we got Jakari Brown package. Got uh twelve set with three receivers. So we're you know empty. We're playing with power back. This is a great wrinkle. We're struggling to run the ball. We're struggling to run it on short downs as well. So bringing the Jakari package, you have your tight end man, Morelli. Here comes uh, Brantley. He's coming here to block this edge. There's zone blocking to the right. This is just a great uh, great block here from the left side guard here. Jalen Rivers is going to seal this right here. And your center, Jonathan Dennis, is sealing this. So this hole just opens up the size of Texas right here from butt to the hole from Jonathan Dennis. Shout out to Coach Hayes. Butt to the hole again from Jalen Rivers. And then this just gives... Brown a huge hole to run through and then he already shows that 215 frame ain't for no joke he's breaking through arm tackles breaking through uh safeties and linebackers dragging guys downfield uh so great to see making plays we're obviously super excited about his future uh but we're now we're super excited about the present uh because this is going to help the running game right here great block here the seal from Jalen Rivers and uh John Campbell butt to the hole butt to the hole Polly here as well and we're going to get Jakari running through downhill with that big frame. Uh, there's something tells me this, with the way this had some success, you know, it worked two out of three times. Probably was going to work the third time, but we had a false start. We'll get to that. Uh, we might see this package moving forward. I don't know if they want to limit him to redshirt for the four games, but, hey, players of his talent don't stick around four or five years anyway. So we'll see what's up. 
Last two games, Coach Gaddis has given a certain look when he wants to get somebody one-on-one. -on -one. He's been giving that quad to the field side look, so that's four receivers this way. You got your running back basically split out. Um, so this is a your, his quad look. He's getting this isolation slant because this safety is still not going to help. He's creeping in. He's creeping in. Easy money. One-on-one -on -one for this slant for the first down. Uh, looked scary for a second, but when you get that other uh, that other angle, you're able to see what happened with Latson. I was scared for his leg for a second, but uh, he's all right. One-on-one -on -one with this slant. That's how you get your matchup. Great catch. Way to finish through. Tries to keep running, but again, straight hands from the Latson able to make this play. But this is just Coach Gad is saying, hey, I want you one-on-one. -on -one. Look at this. You got four bodies over here. They commit four. Their safety's cheating this way as well. This is all the space you can ask for. It's right to them, TBD. You knew your one-on-one -on -one matchup. Get out the ball quick. And our 11 personnel got your tight end in here. Uh, we're going to miss this block here on the left tackle side, but we're going to have Stanley, who's a welcome addition right before the season, transferred in from, he was at UAB, went to, you know, I believe he was at another school, and then, you know, was about to go through camp and then, you know, slid through, or he was going through camp and then slid through, whatever the case may be. Uh, you're going to get this zone read real quick, TVD gives, and then you have this missed block here. This is just a great instinctual jump cut. Uh, what a find to get this guy here just... You know, when we need bodies, what a jump cut here. We missed a block, but he's able to erase that mistake. Great jump cut. Get up field. Good block in here by Latson initially uh, to hold that and then get up field for that. Right after a successful run, we're not running the ball well. So we get up tempo. Look at this. This is tempo. This is what we wanted. This is what we were screaming for. I respect the coach who adapts. I don't think I, I can say it all the time. Coach Josh Gaddis is so smart. He's not going to just keep doing the same thing that's not working. He wanted to do this. We had to do that type of offense if you want to win national championships. Uh, we're just not ready there yet. So he brings in this tempo. So what do we do after our first bet, you know, a first big run for a first down? Defense sucks up, bringing the quarter, uh, the tight end on the wing. RPO. Look at this whole defensive front right here. Look at these two linebackers, the safety that shoots down. Look at these. Look at everybody in the box. Step up. RPO. Right after a successful run, get on the ball. Tempo, tempo. Run the same look. Then this time pull it for the slant. This is just, this is just how you do it. This is Josh Gaddis in his bag taking advantage of we weren't running the ball consistently well but as soon as we ran that ball well he always made sure to get on that line and then give him something to look at and then come back with that rpo it was there latson's been winning that rpo slant all year ah i i, I love this you know tv trying to get a guy a chance here but i just love the design you're gonna have you know trips to the field side you're gonna motion in it uh doubles uh two by two here it's a wheel route for Skinner. You're trying to get Kobe Young this way uh, and then Skinner around for the wheel route. So Kobe Young's, you know, just posting, really. And then you're trying to get this one-on-one -on -one matchup for Skinner. He's able, only able to get one put. This guy smartfully gets off Kobe, uh, Kobe Young. He tries to go double team. Uh, my thing is I love TVD giving this guy a chance. It's just this definitely was designed to get this guy wide open. Uh, Mamorelli. Coming right in on this cross. They're not even looking. They're in man coverage. You know, you throw this right here. He catches it at the 10-yard line. You know, they're they're not even looking yet. You know, that's a that's a potential chance for Mamorelli to get in the end zone and power his way in. Uh, we're going to score the very next play. So this is Tic Tac. -y. It would have been insane if, you know, Jaleel Skinner was able to come, uh, you know, palm this and bring it in. But uh, love to see, you know, giving them that chance almost you know almost made us pay if this defender was able to get there uh but hey this guy's wide open love to see guys wide open on tape even if you're having a great time offensively which you know we did in the first half you could be like hey this is something we can still work on love giving our guy a chance but you can give a guy a chance to score here too uh so it's always something to improve on uh even though we're about to ball out next play Remember when I was talking about how when you have two safeties high, how, you know, we're favoring that big matchup inside on a linebacker. TVD instantly knows where he's going. This nickel is coming off the edge to blitz. So guess what? This linebacker has to ride our big 6'5 playmaking receiver, Kobe Young, up. Where do you think he's going with this football? Two high safeties. This safety overshoots it, in my opinion, gets way over. 
Keyshawn Smith doesn't even do nothing but like a hitch. So he jumped way over out of position. He leaves his linebacker out to dry. But that's where TVD was going with this ball regardless. He's liking this matchup. He can put it high over. Safety goes this way. So he just drops a dime. This is a dot. TVD late pressure here from this stunt. Right in, not communicated and picked up. Stands in the pocket, stands tall, and drops a dime. Look at this ball, bro. Obviously, the catch is insane. One-handed, he sees it. But identifying his matchup, he's had success with it. He's gone to Mallory and Mallory. Now he has uh, Kobe Young in there. Go after that matchup. If they're going to put a linebacker to carry up our big playmakers, the guys who could jump over their head and get it, Throw that thing, boy. This is definitely an exploit. Uh, an exploit that the offense is 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 following through. And Kobe Young, obviously, he's Hemothy, but you see this off the edge. Now you have to clear up. You go way too far outside. This is just a great ball. Look at anticipation by TVD letting this ball go as he's about to get hit. Put it right on the money, right on the money, and then Kobe Young. Taking advantage of every single opportunity he has been given so far. Love to see it. One hand, two one hand catches back to back in this game. Love to see it, bro. This is this is execution at its finest. Attack the matchup. I put an input, but more importantly, had the playmaker to in that matchup to attack. You can honestly say we, the D-line dominated. Uh, DNs for sure uh, did their thing. This is Harvey coming off the edge. Uh, they're trying to leave him one-on-one -on -one with a tight end. That doesn't work. The right tackle is not able to get out there. This right guard is going to try to trap block Mesidor. Uh, that doesn't work. So two DNs stepping up on this play. You got Harvey making this quarterback step up. And you got Mesidor blowing up this pooler who didn't want none. And as he has to step up into him, Mesidor is waiting there. And the rest of the D-line just joins in. Uh, but great play by Harvey making him step up right into this sack. Mesidor was on fire. Obviously, Jackson and the rest of our D-linemen are there as well uh, to clean up. But again, Harvey making that play by making him step up. And Mesidor blowing up that pooler. This is just neat here from the defense getting after the quarterback. Look at this. This is, you know, scat back rushes right here. You got Harvey, number 12. You got four DNs on here. I'm just start with that. You scat pack here. You got Harvey. You got Agude. You got Elijah Roberts. And you got Nigel Lee Kelly. So you got four of our best guys to get after this passer. They're probably giving Mesador a break. Uh, you know, putting Elijah Roberts in, which is a great sub. You can play inside and outside. So this is why you have these type of guys. And then we're going to bring a double blitz here from our little linebacker and James, who's playing dime linebacker. We're just going to be bringing six. There's more than they can block. This running back steps up in pass pro on uh, James. Flag, free shot to the quarterback. Sure tackle for the big sack here from Corey Flag. He's been playing out of his mind. Uh, obviously, he, he has those physical limitations that... You know, fans love to bring up, but when you look at it, man, this dude is probably most our most improved player, uh, and he's balling. Great design here. One of these guys is going to come up free. This is just bringing more than they could block. Boom. Big time sack there from Flag. You'll see it here. Right through. Running back can only pick up one. Huge call. Third and eight. Uh, I love that. Get the four DNs on the field. You know, blitz, send it, do whatever you got to do. Just don't let guys stand in the pocket all day and dice us up, man. I, I love that. You live by the sword, you die by it. Obviously, we live by it. It's always better than dying by it, but I, I could just respect that style of defense. You know, Virginia Tech is spe expecting pass. Everybody is, even us, you know, as fans, expecting pass. We haven't been able to run it, really. They have a three down lineman look, really. And uh, we're just going to wham up. Uh, Bring 23 across for this trap block on this DN. He gets just literally enough of him. Literally just enough. Skinner makes it there to give this chip so Knight can get through. That allows our left side of the O-line here, uh, Rivers and uh, Campbell, to just get up to the second level and get to these linebackers. So he's not able to get in. Jalen Knight sees the hole right between these two guys. Cuts right in it. That's, able, that's made because they've had 3D linemen. So you let that end go. Go ahead, Skinner just did enough by that little push. And now you have your two linemen on two linebackers. Jalen Knight sees the hole, cuts in between it uh, for the long first down. It surprised everybody. It might even surprise us on the sideline. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we ran that ball. Yeah, yeah, we got it too. 
Motion here for VTech out here at the Trips Bunch, but let's just look at Daryl Jackson here. He's going to take on a double team uh, from the left guard and the left tackle. Look at, he doesn't move. He, he's, he's gone back a yard on a double team. This left tackle now goes to release, and now he's like, all right, it's one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to just disengage and take that guy with me. He only needs half his body. He's going to push this guy with his left arm. And then get to his right arm to this running back and just hug this guy and bring them both down. Uh, that's just, this is this is a huge human being. Uh, when a double team isn't moving a guy off the line of scrimmage really much more than a yard, uh, that, that's saying something. This guy is big, he's strong, he's nasty in the run game. He's showing up now as a pass rusher as well. They're even stunting him. It's crazy to see him move at that size. He was a steal in the transfer portal, Mr. Jackson. Gonna get a sack here from Mesidor, but you gotta clap it up uh, for the D uh, for the DBs. It looks like zone here to the field side. Ivy's in man down here. Uh, nobody's open. Nobody's open. Nobody. So what does that leave to? You got a stunt here from Mesidor and Jackson. Jackson's gonna go outside. Mesidor is going inside. This left guard engages Mesidor. This guy this is a coverage sack. He has nowhere to go. He tries to escape in this alley. Mesidor is already disengaged and he's waiting for him. Huge day. You have Leonard Taylor there as well as he was bullying in that center the whole time. So that, that pocket, look at the center. He makes contact with him at. He's probably at the 24-yard line, driving him back, driving him back, driving him back. He he has one leg being stepped on, or else probably Leonard Taylor throws this guy into this guy uh, into this quarterback. But combined little sack right there, uh, tip it up to the DBs, and then the D line pushing through to get home. This guy's about to get blown up, blown up, blown up. This isn't for his feet getting caught up with this lineman, uh, and then that also frees uh, Mesidor on the stun around. That was probably a, a sack by your own. <laughs> it might have been a potential butt fumble. Uh, so great there job by the D lineman after, you know, great coverage downfield. Looks like, you know, a two over the top. And this was, whew, especially with how it went down late in the game that Virginia Tech made it, you know, a six-point game, one-possession game. Thank God they dropped this, bro. Thank God number three had, needs grip boost, dog. It's strictly nothing fancy over here. You got trips to the field side. You got two safeties here. It looks like DP isn't expecting to play deep. He lets this guy go. Inside release, he's routing, he's rerouting him. Yeah, at least he puts his hands on him. He's passing him off. A little inside rush, um, a little rush coming in from Nigel Lee Kelly. So the quarterback steps up. Guy just releases free down the sideline. This was just a bad angle by Tay. I, this could have been a pick, uh, just not the best angle. Misses the ball, but thank God three is just trash because – Whew. That was a touchdown right there. Gets up. Nigel League beats him around the edge. Steps up. Nothing crazy. Just just a bad angle from Tay. Sat on the hash a little too long. Tried to bait him. Sell that dream. The ball was able to sneak past him. Whew. Thank God he dropped that. Get, take that angle this way to him. That's a pick. Hmm. Got lucky there, especially with how the game ended. Uh, could have been a whole different story if that ball is completed. Got to give Stanley his credit. I mean, somebody literally just came out of nowhere. Bro. He, even people connected to the program, probably way more connected than I am, were probably like, what? We just got a, a running back out of nowhere? Like, literally, like it, it was crazy. You, Ch Citizen went down, Chaney went down. Like, oh, yeah, we just got a D1 running back uh, who had you know played 40 games at UAB. I'm like, What? And uh, just coming in here, giving us some good runs like this is just crazy. 11 personnel, they got Mamarelli out wide. Uh, they're going to motion him in. You know the vibes. Uh, they're going to get him across. This is a 3-D line set. This is a ball. You know, this is something you want to run on. You have the seal block here from your center right into that hole. This guy's going to disengage off uh, Jalen Rivers' block. But he's not able to make that tackle. Rakes it. Great cut upfield. Finishes for a first down. Like the way 24 runs, uh, as the Edron James know, uh, but we don't really have an Edron James. So anybody who can tote that rock and get positive yards, I'm all about it. So you got to give 24 his credit. Good block by the O-line as well. We spread him out here. 
We got them wide, split wide. You got them on the hash, top of the numbers. You got field side. You have two by two, basically. Uh, and then the near side, you have the wing with your receiver here. It's basically getting a little swing pass to Malley just across the formation, like a little speed across, fake zone read, and now you're getting it. Uh, I said Mallory because we've, we've done it to Mallory all year, but now it's Memorelli. Obviously, Brashard Smith, you have to block a little bit better. Uh, but this is enough. You, you're looking right at this guy. Put your foot in the ground and get north right here. Man, really, you have the space. I love what you do as a blocker. This is his next evolution uh, to to really go ahead and find that playmaker in him. Because uh, you had, yes, Brashard, you have to block a little better. You do. Uh, but you, you did enough. to you, You're looking at him. You have enough time to put your foot in the ground and get north. I don't think you get tackled there uh, if you go ahead and do so. Right here, you're looking at him. Get north. You have so much space in between. You stutter. You kind of hesitate. Start outside. Obviously, you got to make that block, uh, but you also got to make that play cutting in. That's the next step of Memorelli. He's been getting a lot of playing time, rightfully so, with his blocking. Uh, that's the next step for him. Got to love to love to see him continue to develop that. Yes, everybody knows penalties was a killer. I, I personally think penalties kept you know, at least another touchdown or two off the board just by how they killed us. So we're going for it here on fourth and one. It's the Jakari uh, package. It's, you know, we're, we're all split wide. We're going to probably move this tight end across. And then we have a false start here uh, from the just, you know, pretty much not just going to play point at one person. You know, we had multiple guys jump. I get it. It's a new quarterback in there. It's a new cadence. But you ran it twice successfully. This was most likely going to be another successful attempt at it. Uh, just looking at this front, I think we, uh, I think we would have had some options uh, for him to, for Brown to slide to, uh, so for that one yard. So again, shooting ourselves in the foot because now we have to punt. Uh, we got to clean up some of these penalties, man. This is definitely the most we've been penalized. I know for sure them boys running. Uh, it's just way too much penalties, way too much laundry. So this is gonna be back to back nine five four canes tackling in open space, baby. Yeah, if you me, not letting one yard. Actually, not even an inch after contact. So they got trips tight here uh, to the field side. They're gonna have to Corey drop underneath because he has to drop to respect these two guys if they out out back in routes. Then they delay here for this little flat. So the quarterback takes this all day, which I would too. Close that space. Yes, he's a chop god. He's gonna chop you, but he's. He's 5'10", like 170. Of course, he's going to chop you. You're tight end. You should know that. Not a yard after he catches that ball. Way to take it out from underneath him. Great play by TC. Now it's third and two. That's why you have to tackle. That's why it's so important to tackle. This next play, they do the same thing. They they trips uh, trips to the field side. But this time, we're in man. And we have Keontra lined up on this running back. So they're trying to go ahead and make Keontra go through all this traffic to make this play. They're betting he's not athletic enough. He's a linebacker. They do not know who Keontra is then, boy. He sees it coming. He follows over with the motion. That's basically them confirming it's man. And they're like, oh, yeah, let's run this. Let's run it. Let's run it. However, sorts right through it, sees it, closes it. This, he's already a couple yards away. As soon as that ball is caught, it's boom. Helmet right to the side. That is literally perfect football right there. How much times in years pass, games pass, whatever pass, you see this guy just lean over and get that first down. This was refreshing to see somebody get blown the hell up, dog. Appreciate you, Counter, going out here. And obviously, you know, to Corey Couch, Shamada uh, alum, so is Keontra. Even the not commentator was just like, that's back-to-back -back plays uh, from the 9-5-4. So love to see it. Love to see it. This is just instincts. I think now that he's put on the weight and he's been at linebacker now truly for a year, you're starting to see four come on. He's making these big plays. Big, big plays. Super happy for you, dog. Again, give Coach Gattis his credit. We're not condensing to run the football we are spreading to run the football yeah get a, you know we're gonna have a tight end motion in uh but that's just for that wham because we're gonna have everybody going across zone block to the right have him loop around so this guy can't just make that play even though man really doesn't really get the best block he just slows that guy up enough great job here from the o-line you're gonna see dennis go ahead and seal this right here river seal right here 
This is one-on-one -on -one tackle. That man really is going to do enough to get in this guy's way so Thad could just run through untouched up this hole. So, again, we're not going to just continue to do the same thing Coach Gaz is showing. He will adjust it, bro. I, th honestly, that's probably my favorite thing about a coach is something's not working. Don't just be a stubborn dude just to be like, yo, I've been doing this for 30 years. Yeah, I'm pretty sure at every stop, uh, other, maybe other than Vanderbilt for Coach Gaddis, you know, Penn State, Alabama, Michigan, they were able to run the ball like how he wanted to run the ball. And he changed it like a second. Yo, this ain't working. We, we changing it. So spread them out. Zone block to the right. Get this, uh, you know, leave that backside defender unblocked for your trap block here with your tight end. Gets just enough on him. He's not really able to make that tackle. Thad shows some speed bursting up. Uh, but love to see it here from the adjustment in the running game. Then we tempo it. Tempo it. Another adjustment. Love that from Coach Gaddis. He's not just going to keep doing the same things. It's not like he's, you know, listening to fans. Uh, but he's just doing what he thinks is right uh, to move the offense. Second and 15, so we sub the scat pack back in. We got Harvey, Agude, uh, Mesidor, and Kelly. So that's four DNs. We're, we're rushing the passer. We're going to actually send a delay blitz here from flag. Um, but love this pressure. So you have Agude going to blow this center up. Again, Harvey beating the right tackle. Guess why he has to step up? 12, you played yourself a hell of a game, my dude. Why do you have to step up? Because that thing's coming around the edge. And then Agude's there waiting for him. As he's bullying the center, he's continuing his eyes on the quarterback, eyes on the quarterback. He tries to step up. He disengages. And so does also Nigel Lee Kelly, who's coming off one-on-one -on -one with this left tackle. Sees him step up, backtracks him. They both meet for the sack there. Love what we're seeing there from that package where the Agude, Mesidor, uh, Kelly, and... Uh, and Harvey, even when they rotate Elijah Roberts in there, when they're rotating our guy, the guys in there, it, it just it just looks good. I, I just really like that package to rush that quarterback. These are always hard. And, man, you got Tripp's bunch uh, tight here to the field side. And then, you know, you have receivers following a man. You have your running uh, linebacker on this running back in man. So you're just going to see all these bodies clear out there. You know, DP's going with him. TC's going with him. You have Cam going this way. Uh, so it's just there's just a bunch of things going on, and Caleb's having this uh, running back here. So when you're able to squeeze that pocket like he's able to, uh, he's able to get a little bit of push to LT while he's going upfield. Sneaks right in through this gap. Johnson is stuck in no man's land. It's hard place. Do I continue to run with this guy and he just throws it over, or do I still cover him? Still cover him? Still cover him? He breaks after him. Does, doesn't really gain his foot. You know as he stops back. Dude does a little pump fake, is able to, you know, fake him out a little bit. But he was in a tough spot, you know, the whole time. He was in no man's land. Uh, so it sucks to be in that spot. But, again, you know, running quarterbacks have definitely, you know, hurt us. It didn't look the best uh, there for 40. Uh, but we got to do better with mobile quarterbacks. See, Mesidor, he's not really lined up on the edge. He's over this guard because they're going to bring Wesley off the edge. So this is basically, that's the orbit motion there. Trip stack bunch here to the near side. That's just going to get this one-on-one. -on -one. You're, you're getting this right guard one-on-one -on -one with Mesidor. He's he's bullied every time he's pulled uh, over there. So you get this one-on-one -on -one with them. That's an easy win. You have Leonard Taylor here. He's one-on-one -on -one with that left guard. This is basically just abusing their guards with our best 2D linemen. Uh, with, you know, you have Daryl Jackson up there as well for consideration. But this is Mesidor on a right guard, and this is... You have uh, Leonard Taylor on a left guard. This is just literally blowing them both up, and they meet for this sack in the backfield. Mesidor probably got there a tad bit sooner. Um, but, again, just getting the matchups inside that you want, getting your best pass rushers on some guards, and getting your most, you know, talented player in the Leonard Taylor, you know, on D-line, at least potential-wise, one-on-one with the guard, you're going to get results like that. This one. That's uh, actually grid design. Again, they're in a bunch. They like that little bunch look to the field side. They're going to get a jet motion, which is going to let them know it's man because you see DP come across. They The quarterback already knows what he has once, he's, once he sees this. So you have these. You have James, and you have uh, your TC, and you have your safety here. So James is man on this running back. That's who he's responsible for. You have this tight end and the safety. You got your your slot corner on this receiver in. So they're just going to run these, you know, just a 
the rub route they're going to get in James way he has to back up for a second and then get across so that's just creating a bunch of space here because James can't fly right across he has people right in his way so it instinctively you know he gets out the way and then has to go cover his man that's just a well-run rub route there uh you know you could have flow, flown out there but again you have two people right in, right in front of you and you're about to run into him trip up to him he has to back up and then get outside. That's just a rub created naturally by the design. Once DP went in motion, the quarterback knew that they had a right play call. They were catching us in man. Get it across. That's all right in front of James Williams. In this camera angle, you see it better. It doesn't look as far as last one. Look how close this is. They're right in front. He can't get across. He had to back up for a second. And then right on time, not able to get over there. Play, I think Romello, somebody was supposed to release up the sideline uh, for a fake screen. By the way, see how long it took him to throw this to Kobe Young. I th one of these two were supposed to release. He's looking, uh, even doing the shoulder, the shoulder move uh, to get him. Nobody released. So I think that was a busted play. And he just let it go to Kobe Young. But then we get a block in the back holding on a one-yard gain. So... Wrong play, I think. Uh, you know, busted play. Then we get a penalty. So we do that, right? Incomplete ball here. And then another penalty. False start. So we, we were killing ourselves with the penalties, man. Like, we, we really were. We got to cut it down. They killed us on offense. I know Coach Cristobal is, is not happy. You can see it with that face right there. Well, every time, you know, a penalty happened. You know, he, he was not happy, not happy at all. We're shooting ourselves in the foot, man. And then we get into it after. We're, we're trips. We motion over to the 2 by 2 side where it's just telling TVD, hey, it's zone. And then you guess what TVD likes to do in zone with the two high. He's going at his big target across the middle. So this is Jaleel Skinner. You're in for Will Mallory family. Time to step up. Runs a good route. TVD again. It's zone coverage, two safeties high. He he trusts his uh his big tight ends over linebackers all day. Puts in a drops a dime on him. You have to, you know, find a way to hold on to this football. Uh you have this safety here who ends up cheating it. I think maybe a pump fake and uh let this go to Kobe Young. That might have been a long touchdown, but uh you have to have to, have to, have to catch this if you're Jaleel Skinner. He locked on it. That's the matchup that he likes uh, over uh, linebackers underneath the safety. But this safety cheated it. This cornerback had terrible technique. Uh, I, I would have looked to, to capitalize on this. We're in man, but uh, we have flag standing over like he's about to blitz over this left guard. Uh, but he ha he's actually responsible for this running back. But us doing so is going to slow flag down. Now he has to get ready to go across. This guy's going to get a step on him. So it sucks to see. You have 81 here on the edge. Uh, but, you know, he's with this tight end. He's not able to get out there. You have flag coming across. This is just good design. And then they, they get gifted a late hit here from James Williams. I, I didn't like the call. It was late. Uh, we give him 15 yards. We, we, we were, the penalties were coming in bunches. Uh, but this was just designed. They caught us, you know, being cute, standing flag up. Uh, so they gives their running back a head start on this little flat route. Uh, so he was able to get there. And uh, then we gave him an extra 15 here. Concerned when we go zone to the field side and man backside. Uh, because we've been getting attacked in the flats there. MTSU did it. A UNC did it. It's just been they've been killing us on the flats on third and six. You know, you know, UNC had a crucial one uh, that you know probably helped them close out the game. So DP's going with his receiver, and man, so you're rushing three. You're dropping Harvey back in coverage just like that MTSU one. We just say you know we abandon the flats completely. If this quarterback just wasn't trash, this is uh you know this this running back I was able to catch this ball from this trash quarterback you know this is a first down so this is something that we need to probably tighten up because this is three teams in a row that have done this it just worked because the other two teams executed uh this is a first down mtsu and unc game we gotta you know go back to the drawing board on that
work so much because when you send somebody you know upfield and that deep third corner has to respect it once they're gone that's all open coming across so here we have a 12 set person now you got your two tight ends here you got latson and uh um uh, kobe young here split you're gonna get skin you're gonna leave man really in the block you're getting skinner on this deep crossing route uh so you're gonna get him and kobe young crossing they like to do that crosser just in case it's man they can rub but they're going to send great creativity by Latson. You have to send this post route uh, from Latson. So you have to take that corner who is deep third. So you see that crosser going on here. That's Kobe Young. That's Jaleel Skinner. That's Latson taking that corner on that post to open that space. Once that corner vacates, all that space from here to the sideline is available. So we have that crosser, crosser post so you can hit that right underneath that cover three window obviously a dart by tvd left his hand he was confident stepped into this this is a dot mm. way to make that uh way to make that read and catch from skinner i guess youtube doesn't want me to be great there it goes oh i guess youtube doesn't want me to be great there uh, hit this tight end they try to get on a little play action swing pass youtube doesn't want Corey flag to get his credit so it's just going to fast forward, but you see my dog get this tackle out here in space. Uh, so again, another heads up play by Corey Flagg. I wish I could should have showed you to it. Look what DP dropping back, you two safeties dropping back, and then Ivy. Uh, wasn't having much issues with open field tackles this game, uh, but you got to find a way. Co Ivy had a couple of tackles that you know held them to third and one, third and two, fourth and one by coming up and making tackles just like this. Uh, he's not able to this time. Uh, it gets uh gets cut inside on, and then flag misses, but comes back. So, got to make this tackle. Make this tackle here. It's a third and four, third and long three. Uh, and this, then it's the first down when he breaks breaks it. So that's the big difference. We we didn't miss much tackles this game, so we cleaned that up. Uh, but we always got to, you know, identify it and continue to improve on it, even though DJ Ivy is one of our better tacklers. And good coverage here by the DBs uh, to allow this to happen. It's going to be a cover sack. They're, they're going trips here. They're putting a tight end here to chip Mesador because he's he's literally owning them. Uh, so it makes sense. I would do the same thing, too. So they're going to go ahead and chip Mesador. But everybody's in good coverage. You have man across the board. Nobody's open. This is a wide open hole, so of course the running uh, quarterback's going to think he can escape through it. This is man, so the running back clears this out. Look at this. This is this is what you would want if you're a quarterback thinking to escape. But Mesador seen it. He starts to backtrack, gets off that tight end, is engaged with the left tackle. He's looking, comes off. He's a little unbalanced. Is able to shed him for that sack as he just even thinks about stepping up into that wide ass hole. Uh, that got there. Mesador was, was playing like a man. A grown, grown man. Gets off that chip. Beats this. He's moving inside. He knows that dude's coming inside. Boom. For another sack. He had three and a half sacks in the game. He's coming out party. But uh, honestly, he, he, he's he been balling all year. I mean, VT really didn't move the ball on us, bro. We, we gave them yards literally every time uh, that they were moving it. They got trips over here to the field side. They're going to get away with the hold here on Mesador. He's, going to, he's grabbing them the whole time. He's pulling them down. Uh, I mean, not on Mesador, on Agude. Look at him. He's pulling them down by his shirt, by the back of his shirt. That should have been clearly a, a holding call. Look at this. He's, he has his arm wrapped around his arm. He's holding them from his back. He's pulling them now as he's like, that's not holding? I don't know what is. So he steps out. So... You know, Agude loses containment, <clears throat> holding, and they're going to, you know, get outside for this play. This is the one TC, you got to just let it ride, family. Even though you really didn't touch this dude, he's going to flop on the sideline. And you've been in the gym, you've been in the weight room, so maybe you're just too strong for that. But uh, a 5-9 five, five, corner, barely touching you, flying out of bounds. So wasn't too much. He flopped it, but uh, you, you got to be smarter than that. It's a quarterback. He's clearly out of bounds. Can't do that type of push, so they're going to ticky-tacky, get you 15 yards. Uh, but apparently, you're just not allowed to put your hands on anybody because they're going to call a flag here on DJ Ivy and man coverage on this go route. 
literally perfect coverage. This is textbook coverage. This is like Deion Sanders approved. Like literally, this receiver is just soft, and the rec- and the referee just threw a flag. This made no sense, bro. It made no sense. Even the commentators was just like, bro, like it, it, it is insane, dog. Insane. Look at this. Look at this in, uh, replay. This is perfect bump and run. Hands on them within five. On them. They're hand fighting. They're both hand fighting. You're just little, bro. Fight inside. You're you're just little. Like, I'm sorry. You're just getting embodied. That was not a penalty, bro. DJ Ivy, uh, I know fans come at you, bro, but I'm always have your back, especially on some BS like this, dog. Like, dog, that is perfect textbook coverage. I would love for Ivy to continue to play like that. And he asking that dude, like, what's up? Because that should not have been no penalty. But, you know, hometown cooking. I was screaming at my uncle's house because this is fourth and nine. Do y'all see anything here? Do, y- do y'all see, like, anything here? You got four DNs here. We're on that thing. You got a Goude standing up. The more of a spy. Look at their number three receiver. This is fourth and nine. You have so much space. You got James, who's, you know, 13, 14 yards away from him. And there's no linebacker here. You have your third safety. You have split. He's, you know, he's a little bit inside shade of the number two receiver. There's so much space. Where do you think Virginia Tech is going to go with that football? Literally, doesn't even take three steps and slant. It's just a sword slant straight. Just go get there. And you have, you know, James is backing up instead of getting on that. I don't know if Flag is supposed to step up. Maybe he has responsibility for this running back. Uh... This is just, you know, this is just inexcusable how somebody just off alignment from our defense is just so wide open. James tries to break on it uh, to get a pick, but you had to you had to break on that ball sooner, man. You shouldn't even be backing up, in my opinion. Don't know what they're teaching it or, you know, how his responsibility. Obviously, he has deep middle, uh, but you have to account for some type of short middle. <laughs> like, it's fourth and nine. It's not fourth and a century. This is just wide open. It's honestly inexcusable, uh, especially for the way the defensive plan was executed all game. I, I just can't believe this happened. Yeah, it just leads into a, a touchdown the next play. Honestly, they get up, tempo it, they snap it. We're not able to make this tackle, get that kick out block, then he just powers in. Mm. Got to make those plays. It's fourth and nine. They should not even have scored that and got into this game. Uh, we, we're not able to run the ball effectively. So this is an extension of our run game. We go quad. We're going to throw this bubble. We've been throwing this to Bouchard all day. It's been working. Colby Young, you got to block here. Receiver one, you got to make this block, though. He's able to get inside of you and blow up Mello in the backfield. Uh, keeps the clock running because it's a completed pass. But you make that block, he has space for you know a positive gain here. You got to make that block so you can get upfield here. He has options uh, to go. Getting blown up. Receiver one family just had to point it out because uh, he got the dog free kill. Um, but let's keep moving. Hello over so we can get trips to the field side. Uh, this is a great, well-designed play for Latson is to get open. You're going to have number three receiver, which is Romello clear. You have 20 so worried about him, pointing and pointing and pointing him. And Kobe Young, guess who's been balling all game? He's going to be running a shorter in like you dig. But, uh, you know, he's breaking it before that first down. Number 20, so concerned about that. He's actually going to go and pass interference him. Should have been a flag. The ref's looking right there. But what you're doing is get him to open up his hips, that DB. You're clearing this guy out of here. You're having the nickel who's right in this throwing lane. Go after Kobe Young. He's been the one that opens up this throwing window directly from TVD. First window to Latson as he's breaking out of that dig and puts it right on him. That's just great scheming. That's how you get a guy. You get the uh, over-the-top coverage, safety out of here. Get him back because this is where we're ultimately throwing the football. Get this guy out of here. Get him inside the hash uh, because Kobe Young is used as the eye candy this time. Open up that lane. Great catch here by Latson. This is just on the money throw here from TBD as well. He read it. He read it the whole time. He knew where he was going with that football. As soon as that, uh, as soon as that guy stepped up on Kobe Young, put it over his head on a line for a first down. Big catch by Latson too, using that big frame. Kane's family. So this is gonna wrap up the review. Uh, but last play, man. We're 11 again. Trips this. 
We're going to be swinging Mamarelli around. We've been giving this football the whole time. Look at this DN crash. He's going to crash over top of the pooling uh, tight end. So he crashes so far. This is just an excellent read by TVD. Pull it. And now you got a convoy here with Mamarelli. Just go upfield for this first down to close this game out. So we didn't see TVD really pull it. We saw him take it off in the passing game when it wasn't there. And he got some first downs. Look at this DN. He's going to crash like that. Pull it all day. You got to escort uh, and then just get this first down and close up this game. So, uh, you know, appreciate everybody for checking out the review, man. And uh, let's go Canes.